Hi everyone, myself Saurabh Sarkar. I'm from Jodhpur, Rajasthan. And uh, first of all, I should mention that uh, that I have done my BE from MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur. And uh, then when I gave the uh, ES exam, that time I was in my first year of MTech. I was doing MTech from MNIT, Jaipur. And at uh, in 2017, so during that time I prepared for ES uh, along with my MTech. The, after I finished my BE, I got ad, uh, the admission to be MTech in MNIT. So there is no job experience with me, but uh, I should say, say that uh, it doesn't matter that job is job experience is required for any competitive exam. Um, I was doing MTech as I have told you, so I prepared for the prelims and mains on my own and when the time came for interview, at that time I joined an online interview guidance program and there were actually three modules of mock interviews but I was only able to give only one mock interview and in that they gave me a, a mark of 110 marks they gave me and said that you are just an average. So I should say that uh, in mock interviews you are judged, um, basically you are judged uh, not correctly. Actual what you will get there is a different, unique experience for everyone. So yeah, I joined an online mock interview and I gave a mock interview through Skype. Only one mock interview I gave it. When the time for interview came, I browsed through the internet and just searched uh, how the interview goes in the UPSC. So I found that they are, are the question is that they start from are related to DAF. So I prepared the questions which can come along with the DAF. I made a list of them and then tried to answer them with the best of my knowledge. Also the, that we know that the uh, person who is coming from giving after giving the prelims and means who is coming he is technically sound. But then also uh, there are some questions which are specific to interviews. I found them with the help of my friends and through internet and made a list of them and I tried to answer them in the best possible way and then tried to present them in the best possible way and that's how I prepared for the interview. See, actually uh, interview committee is a very nice uh, committee uh, established by the UPSC but uh, see uh, they also make you comfortable first. So it's not required that you speak in English or Hindi. They will know how you are going to answer the best. So they will know and they will continue in that. So you can use mix also. If you are comfortable with Hindi, go with Hindi. It's not a matter of fact that uh, you should go for English only. It doesn't give you any benefit. But yeah, uh, if you are comfortable with English, then you should go with English. But there is no uh, means, there is no difference in using the language. Language is not the barrier there. Only thing is that how you present yourself in the best possible way. And that should be your aim. Uh, I will tell you from the beginning. You reach to the UPSC Bhavan. Then you are frisked at the gate. You are thoroughly checked by the security there. Then you have to enter. You have to deposit your things to the reception and then you have to go for the document verification. Document, at document verification, um, there are some people who will give you um, all the formats that you have to fill and they will verify your documents. If there are any discrepancies, they will notify you. And then you have to wait for your chance to come for the interview. People are called one by one. They have to go to their uh, committee room and then you have to give the exit. So when my chance came for the interview, I was waiting outside the uh, committee room, then I was called in, I got inside, I wished the chairman, I wished the uh, people of the committee and then I sat down. Then the first question came from the chairperson about my background from my DAF and about my school background from my DAF. The first question actually that I remember that came was about an essay that I wrote in my schooling days and the chairperson asked me about the topic of that essay and then I had to describe how I wrote that essay and why I won a gold medal in that essay. And then 
chairman uh, asked the technical expert sitting on my left to ask me a question and he asked me he started asking me questions from the networking side asked me about the OSI models then the networking platforms the protocols etc so that was the first technical experts uh, questionnaires then there was a ma'am uh, and uh, I then chairperson asked that ma'am to ask me a few questions so she asked me about my background what I'm doing now and uh, the main thing that she asked was about my projects so you sh all means I prepared for that project also the project work uh, including my project that was in my final year of BE and also the project which work which I was doing in my MTech. Then uh, the another technical expert who was sitting on my right, um, coincidentally that technical expert was also a subject expert of my MTech thesis. So he asked me thoroughly about my uh, MTech project and also suggested me something. So it goes like that. But after all the uh, technical experts have gone through their questions, the final questionnaires that will come is that came from that, that were from the chairman, when, uh, sir, cha chairman sir. So he asked me about few of the technical questions related to communication, communication protocols, digital communication, and then that's it. That's it. Then they just said that okay, sir, you can go. So I must tell you that that I was the last candidate to be interviewed that day. So uh, if you see that what was the time duration when I got in and got out, it was about 40 minutes. And if you ask how much time each technical expert took, it was about 5 to 10 minutes for each technical expert. And most of the time uh, I was being interviewed by the chairman. And the first question and the last questionnaires came from the chairman. That's how the uh, interview went. You are not being judged on your technical knowledge. Because you have passed prelims, because you have passed mains, uh, the interview panel knows that you are technically sound, you are technically good. So don't worry about technical knowledge. Just practice how you will present yourself and how you will answer the questions in the best possible way you can. And don't worry that their language will be any of problem. If you want, uh, if you are not comfortable with English, you go for Hindi. If you're not comfortable with Hindi, go for English. And if you're not comfortable in both of them, then go for mix as you uh, describe yourself in your friends. So they will not judge you on the basis of your language. The, this uh, problem should not be in your mind that the language will be a barrier. You just present yourself in the best possible way. Revise some of the points of your DAF and answer them in the best possible way you can and also you should prepare the projects that you have uh, done in your BTEC or MTEC and go through all the questions that can come along with those projects because you might find a subject expert there and that's it that will be enough and first thing is that you should be calm and you should be cool there in front of the panel because they judge on your personality also. See, uh, for cracking any exam, especially UPSC exam, you need some motivation. You need to get motivated. You need some aim to get preparing for that. So, decide in your mind what's your motivation, what's your aim, and be fixated on that. Continue to focus on that until and unless your results came, come. Prepare hard, but with calm and patience and uh, as long as interviews being uh, concerned that that is the most, most unique experience with every person and uh, the committee is not your enemy they will make you their friend and they will make you comfortable first and then they will ask you question so be not be afraid go there calmly answer them present yourself in the best possible way you can I wish all of you who are watching this video that all the best for your uh, interviews and the ESE exams, all the best.